This is the first of a series of um, increasingly complicated particle dynamics problems. Um, today, the goal is really to show you how to basically open and write a simple Python script to solve the problem. So there's a lot of slides that I'm going to skip through. They're there. They, they'll be posted for you to study and for us to go over in, uh, in class at some other time. So if you recall from statics, we studied the what I call the Todd Hunter apparatus, and here's a graphic of it. And my inspiration for this came from an old textbook that I picked up from that was written in 1890 by I Todd Hunter, and therefore I just called it the, the Todd Hunter apparatus. But I find it that it's a really good um, it's a really good apparatus to show basic principles first in statics and then now in dynamics where things move. I'm going to skip through the learning objectives and show and go. There, uh, there's a warm up problem, and this is set up so that you will walk through. Um, you write a free body diagrams in a in a worksheet that that you'll do, um, and then what we want to do is like get into and just talk about the event. And so, the um, the event is a basically a really relatively simple problem where we have a frictionless pulley. We have two unequal masses, big M, which is has a larger mass than little M, and they start with a heavier mass elevated and they fall at a um, definite rate and what when we analyze this problem I'm going to skip through all these derivation slides they're important for you to really understand but not for the purpose of this video this is a really messy lots of lots of uh, slides here and here's the summary slide that we want to use to, to launch into writing a script to solve it. So <clears throat> on the top left from the analysis, there are certain dimensionless variables. Uh, time is non-dimensionalized with a characteristic dimension. And that square root term comes from the analysis, which is done in the slides. And the, um, the velocity of the large mass m has a characteristic tension that's given and shown. The acceleration has a characteristic dimension that's shown. And actually, just the um, uh, sorry, um, the accelerate that it, a star is really just going to be the constant acceleration of this system with its simplifications. Um, why the the elevation of mass m is normalized by big H, which is its initial height. The solution for this with the initial conditions that it starts from rest with the mass high uh, elevated is that A, the acceleration is minus one, uh, the dimensionless hat. V, the dimensionless velocity um, is minus T. It decreases linearly with time. And Y has a one half T squared plus one term. So it starts at time zero at a value of one and it decreases as time goes on. And it actually, um, so these are the equations that we want to input. So 